What's up everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Suits. So audio is very important. And I made a video about the video micro uh, on my channel. So check it out. Uh, this is a very good uh, mic. And I got my M50 here and I got the microphone on my M50. It's a very good mic. But I wanted to go wireless. So I went, got the Rode of Wireless Go. This is the wireless solution that Rogue have to offer. Now this is really good. Uh, I've been testing it out and I'm gonna show you what's in the uh, box, but uh, I've been testing this uh, Wireless Go mic out and it's been a very good mic so far. So let's go ahead and talk about it in this video. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is the wireless go from Rogue. Uh, you get the receiver and the transmitter. You get two dead cats, which I'm gonna demonstrate in this video. It's pretty hilarious uh, the way this looks. Uh, you get two USB type C charging cords because you can charge both of these up uh, via USB type C. Also, you have your connector that goes from uh, the, the transmitter to the camera. Also, you have a carrying pouch. All right, so let's go to talk about the Rogue video mic. You have the receiver and you have the transmitter. All right, the, the transmitter here and this is the receiver. So basically what you want to do, you got some buttons on here, which is nice. You got your decibel button. Uh, you have a, a, a chain button here. So if you wanted to sync other rogue uh, transmitters on here, you could do that here. On the side here, you have your plug here that goes uh, from here to your camera. You got your charging dock, uh, USB type C. And here is the power port. So when you turn it on, you just press it. All right, and it comes on. All right, so immediately what it's trying to do is trying to search for a transmitter. All right, so I have the other, the transmitter here. Let's go over this one here. Right at the top, you have a mic, which is pretty unique for this. You have your uh, battery indicator, you have your chain here, so it lets you know that you are connected to a uh, receiver. Uh, also, you have a port here that you can connect a lav mic. Uh, here, you have a USB type C uh, charging port, and right here, you have your power button. So, when you turn this one on, all right, and now you got your indicators. So what's gonna happen immediately out of the box, guys, is gonna pair up. So as you can see, it's all paired up. Now this is pretty unique. Now this is the microphone itself. It's kind of strange looking um, to put this on your body, but I mean, you could work this in different scenarios. So right now, I'm good to go. I could put this part on my camera and I could put this part on me and I, I would get good clean audio. All right, so let's talk about the decibel real quick. So you have a decibel that goes minus 12, zero, and plus 12, all right? So this is how you connect it. I'm gonna take this off. I, I, I roll with that video roll mic here. Slide that off. So since the, the, um, the receiver has a little belt clip on it, it goes right in the cold shoe or the hot shoe. Boom, like so. Good to go. You take your connector, connect here. All right, and you connect this to your camera. Now, I always recommend going into uh, manual audio settings. Let's go ahead and go to the audio settings real quick so y'all guys can see this. Go to your menu and sound settings here. Want to go to menu, and right now I got it in the middle. And as you can see, I got the mic way down there, and I got the receiver up here. And you see how it's clipping right there. This is why you don't use that. So I would tell you to take that and crank it all the way down, all the way down, crank it all the way down to zero, then go up about two stops, and you're good. Now, even with the mic not on me, it's still right there, not clipping, but this is a perfect setting for me. All right, now, and let's talk about this for a second. Okay, so right now, I have the camera receiver all the way up. All right, and I can make my adjustments here with the decibel, 
boom. Right there, I want to show you guys real quick. When I click it one time, it goes to regular. I'm sorry, that's regular. That's all the way up. And that's, that's going to be minus 12. Minus 12, right? And let's go to look at the camera. And I'm going to kind of put this near me. Camera right there. And that's going to be minus 12. You see how low that is? All right. And if I go regular, now I'm regular. And that looks like normal right there. So you could go regular. But I really do like it plus 12 dB. And the reason why is because you don't have to talk as loud. So if, I, if you put it on 12 dB, I think it's a good setting. I like that setting because now I don't have to talk so loud. I can talk nice and softly and the camera will pick, pick up great. So these are your settings for audio. All right, so let me go it on and put this on the camera and I'm gonna let y'all listen to it, me in the studio. And I'm also gonna go outside and I'm gonna let y'all guys listen to the audio on the outside. But this is how I look with the Rogue Video wireless mic. Boom. All right, guys, so here it is, the Rogue wireless mic on me. And I have the transmitter on the camera and I have the receiver right here. The good thing about this is that it has a built-in mic, which is good, but you know, the, the aesthetics is not that great. I would recommend a lab mic. And the reason why is because you could take this mic and put it in, in your pocket or something and have your lav mic pinned on you and it look more professional. I'm gonna go all the way down to uh, minus 12 dB so y'all guys can hear it uh, with this mic. So check this out. All right guys, so this is minus 12 dB. And as you can hear, it's a little quiet and I'm not speaking so loud, I'm speaking the same tone that I was in the beginning of the video. So I want y'all guys to hear this minus 12. Now yes, you can compensate for this by going to your camera audio settings and manual and cranking it up but that's, that's not a good idea. Uh, the perfect setting on your camera is to take your audio and go all the way down and maybe go up maybe two steps or three steps, that's it. Uh, because you don't want to utilize a preamp on your camera. You want to utilize a third party micro, microphone system to give you that good audio. But I'm gonna go to the regular standard audio with this mic so we can hear it. So check this out. All right guys, so this is zero dB. Uh, on the uh, wireless mic uh, and look a lot of y'all might like this uh, way because it's even Steven is not pumped all the way up and it's not pumped all the way down so you could keep this right in the middle and it would do a great job now again you could go in your camera settings and you can make up the appropriate adjustments but I like this setting because um, this setting is really good this say if you want to uh, maybe speak a little louder or something like that, or maybe in your camera settings, you could take your manual and go up a few stops to, to try to give you that good audio. You have to play around with it. But in this video, I just want to kind of gauge how the audio sound with all three stops. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go outside so we can hear the audio uh, with this wireless mic so y'all can get a just or high with sound on the outside. Also, I'm going to connect my lab mic uh, so y'all guys can hear the lavender mic uh, on this wireless uh, mic system. So check this out. All right, guys, so I got the video wireless mic on. And uh, as you can see, I'm outside. And I want to kind of let y'all guys hear how it's going to sound on the outside without using the laugh mic. Uh, I just got the Rogue mic uh, pent up on them, kind of get a little closer. And so y'all guys can see this. And it's a lot of noise going on right now. But I want uh, y'all guys to hear the outside noise. Now, the way I have it set up on my camera, as I have my camera on manual audio, and it's all the way cranked down to like maybe two steps up. Uh, but I got the decibel on the wireless mic is all the way cranked up plus 12. Uh, I would recommend a lav mic. Uh, and I have a lav mic here. I do have a lav mic here. And I'm going to demonstrate how it's going to look and sound with the lav mic. And this lav mic I've been using for a very long time is really relatively cheap. You can get one for like 30, 40 bucks. Uh, but also it comes with this wind uh, filter where you buy the uh, this wireless Rogue mic. Now, Putting it on, it, it looks kind of kind of crazy. I don't like the way it looks, but uh, as you can see, 
uh, all the noise that's going on. I don't have a lot of wind right now around me, but it is noisy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little wind noise on so y'all guys can hear the sound. And I am going to demonstrate uh, how it sounds with the laugh mic. So check this out. All right, guys. So I got the little wind uh, cover on the mic right here. And uh, I want y'all guys to see them I'm gonna pull the mic off and uh, let y'all guys see this here. Um, if I can focus on that. So as you can see, it has a little shield on it like that. Um, hey, I don't like the way that looks. I mean, it really, it really looks crazy like that. Uh, but I mean, hey, the good part about this, uh, this right here is that this is the microphone itself. So, um, I mean, it's pretty neat. So if you don't have a left mic, you could always just use this. Uh, and it's, hey, it's, it's good to go. So this is a unique feature that this has. And it's nice and slim. Uh, I'm glad that it used uh, USB Type-C to charge. Uh, the charging time was kind of strange to me. Uh, it took a little while than, than normal to charge. But uh, overall, I, and I still got the plastic on it too. So uh, overall, it, it's a pretty nice look i mean it's, it's really small i mean you could put it in the, on the spot on, on you that is really discreet but uh using the wind filter here and i don't have any wind going on right now but using the wind filter does bring not a, a appealing look i mean it look okay but it's not something that look good but let me plug up the laugh mic and i'm gonna give you a stealth look uh that's kind of normal uh that most people would do so check this out all right guys so i do have a laugh mic plugged in uh to the wireless rogue mic and uh so right now what you're listening to is the the lavenier mic that's on me and the laugh mic i mean it's nice and stealth as you can see it's nice and stealth and this is the more professional way to do it so uh, what i like about this is that i can walk around i could be in my studio i could walk around and i don't have to worry about having a, a, a mic pent on me or even if you use uh to have a mic on top of your camera um sometimes you, if you walk far away you can lose that audio or you could pick up a lot of a sound around you so using the laugh mic is very good in this occasion. So I like the way it has the ports that you can connect a laugh mic. And I could take this and it has a clip on it. And I could take this and put this here, right on my pocket, kind of cover it up a little bit. Now I'm good to go. So now I have the laugh mic on and uh, I got the other wireless portion like right on my pocket and now I'm good to go here. So this makes it a very good uh, experience to get more professional work done and uh, even when you don't want to have a boom mic uh, which I have in my studio I got a boom mic and even if you even if I don't want to use my boom mic I can use this I will leave all product detail information down in the comments below if you want to pick this up now you know it is a $200 product uh, so a lot of people that uh, don't want to spend that type of money, I do understand. But uh, overall, the quality of it uh, looks, sounds really good. And I mean, hey, it is what it is, right? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the wireless mic in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.